Unlike traditional approaches that prioritize features or business goals, journey mapping puts the customer at the center of your thinking so you can develop empathy and gain powerful insights into their experiences. Let's build one. To start, we'll explore Miro's pre-made templates. Here we see there are several options designed specifically for customer journey maps. A few single board templates and a customer journey map blueprint. We'll choose the blueprint because it provides a systematic framework for the entire journey mapping process from research to implementation. For this video, we'll head straight to the board called journey map. Here we see that a comprehensive journey map has several key components. The customer persona we're focusing on, the stages they go through, like from awareness to loyalty, the touch points or interactions they have with our business, their actions, thoughts, and emotions at each stage, the pain points they experience, and opportunities for improvement. Let's build a customer journey map for a specific scenario, say a food delivery app, and invite team members from across the business to collaborate. We'll define the stages of the journey, discovering the app, creating an account, browsing restaurants, ordering food, and so on. Then we'll set a timer and brainstorm actions the customer takes at each stage. For example, in the waiting for delivery stage, an action might be something like checking the delivery status. Next, it's time to capture the customer's thoughts and emotions. But how do we know what they think and feel? Well, what we're not covering in this video is all of the customer research we did prior. Can we pull up that blueprint again? Ah, yes. Notice we planned, recruited, and interviewed customers, then analyzed data and built personas based on that analysis. Only then do we map. Because we use Miro for each step, all of our information is interconnected in a single place, ensuring alignment and transparency. Okay, back to our scenario. We'll use emojis, stickers, or images to visually represent how we know the customer feels at each touch point. From our research, we see customers experience excitement when browsing restaurants, but frustration during the waiting period. Finally, we'll add the customer pain points for each phase, accepting all possibilities. We'll evaluate them next. With our customer journey map completed, it's time to prioritize. Some teams do this by voting. Others use a prioritization framework like the importance and urgency matrix, or some combination of the two. Regardless, we must remember to use our research about the customer experience. Customer journey mapping in Miro gives our cross-functional team a powerful way to visualize the end-to-end -end customer journey, developing a shared understanding of our customers' experiences so we can align on the most impactful opportunities for improvement.